Chapter 3, Lesson 26, Neptune. Neptune takes approximately 14 years to travel through a zodiacal sign. As a result, people born within this 14-year period of time will share similar generational influences. The outer planets access the higher octave, or collective energies of the elements. With Neptune, the higher octave that is being accessed is the water element. Neptune symbolizes the qualities of universal, unconditional love and mystical experiences. It represents the ecstatic emotional feelings that one experiences during peak spiritual experiences. Neptune dissolves barriers because it operates at such a high level. The feeling is one of oneness with the creator of all things. Neptune feels unconditional love for everything in the universe and beyond. Neptune dissolves all barriers, the sense of duality and establishes and strengthens the connection with the divine creator. Neptune feels at such a high level that it is it has difficulty in translating this wonderful unconditional love into words neptune might be thought of as a religious saint or monk that prays and meditates constantly and experiences very profound ecstatic mystical high points of intense oneness with the divine creator the outer planets of uranus neptune and Pluto are treated differently in astrology than the other planets. Because they take so long to travel through a zodiacal sign, whole groups of people will share these energy patterns. As a result, they are considered a generational influence. The outer planet's energies will express themselves more through their house position and if they are prominent in the birth chart. Correspondences of Neptune. Neptune resonates at 211.44 Hertz. The properties of Neptune enhance our spiritual experiences, compassion, and opens up the higher levels of our creativity. It deepens the experience of mysticism and past life experiences. Neptune's energies are of dreams, imagination, and intuition. It deepens our meditative states and encourages enlightenment. The angelic being that is associated with Neptune is Azariel. The element of Neptune is the higher octave of water. The flowers, herbs, and other vegetation that correspond to Neptune are heliotrope, carnation, opium poppy, ocean plants, morning glory, hallucinogenic plants, soft plants, intoxicating plants, and gentle plants. The incense and perfume fragrances of Neptune are marijuana and nag champa. The metal of Neptune is bronze. The crystals and minerals that correspond to Neptune are sapphire, amethyst, coral, and jade. The color associated with Neptune are purple, violet, and sea green. To help you understand and have a personal experience of the essence of Neptune, gather items from the above correspondence list in the space that you do your contemplations. This will help you access this energy. Read through the list and then collect as many of the items as you can. Pictures of some of the items will do, but you need to have the perfume or incense smell of Neptune wafting in the air. It is very beneficial to have a Neptune type of crystal to hold while you contemplate as well, as is the lighting of a purple or violet candle to be placed on the table that you have a purple or violet cloth on and that you have collected all the other Neptune correspondence items on. At this point, I would like you to hold your crystal, light the candle and incense, then gaze at the other Neptune items that you were able to collect on the purple or violet cloth. Then play the piece of music by Gustav Holst called Neptune from his Planet Suite. You may be able to access this music via YouTube. Listen to it while you use all of your senses to experience Neptune. Next, get ready to do your formal contemplation on Neptune while you listen to 211.44 Hertz music softly in the background.
you may be able to access this tonal music via YouTube. Look for a recording that is at least 20 to 30 minutes long. Close your eyes and vividly visualize an image of the planet Neptune. Hold this image in your mind for a few minutes. Then visualize old man Neptune, Poseidon, in the ocean with his trident. Or use the image of a wise old wizard. Then let your mind soften and flow for the next 20 minutes while this 211.44 hertz music plays softly in the background. See what else comes into your mind. After you've completed the 20 minute contemplation, go about your day and think about all of the qualities of Neptune. Come to understand how important Neptune is when helping us to achieve a spiritual enlightenment. Then go on with your day, allowing additional thoughts about the meaning of Neptune to filter through your consciousness. Neptune, part two. In this section, we will incorporate all that you have experienced of what Neptune is with the energies of the zodiacal signs. Now, whole books are written on this subject, but my point here is not to write a book that you just read and then forget about because you never access the reasons of how or why it is as it is. I want you to be able to understand the root of where all of this is coming from. This will put you into the position of being able to interpret the material for yourself. I want to help you to reach that higher state of mind that simply knows. In the beginning of each of the zodiacal sections, I will place a short key and symbol section. These are meant to give you quick reference to what each of the Neptune positions through the zodiac means, through the intellectual and intuitive mind accessed through imagery. Because it takes Neptune close to 165 years to make an orbit around the Sun, and 14 years to travel through a zodiacal sign, you will not get the chance to meet a person with many of the Neptune zodiacal placements. I will indicate the placements that you have a chance of personally observing, and for the rest, use historical records and the creative imagination to access their, their energy signatures. Neptune in Aries. Key, religious beliefs are strongly expressed. Symbol, an evangelical minister forcefully tries to convert others to his religious views. Neptune in Aries is cardinal fire. The Neptune in Aries person is full of fiery energy, fire, that they use to attempt to convert others to their religious beliefs, cardinal. This generation may appear very impressive to others because of a charismatic charm that is very beguiling. Religion is very important to these people and they may be insistent that others believe as they do so much so that they may forcefully attempt to convert others. The image of a fire and brimstone preacher springs to mind when considering this generational influence. These people will make radical changes in the creative worlds of literature, music, dance, art, and many others. They work best at these creative endeavors if they are allowed to follow their impulses and to not follow the old tried and true methods. The house placement of Neptune in Aries indicates whether the individual will be the active agent of the Neptune in Aries energies for their generation, or if they will be part of the majority of the people of this generation that will believe and support or disagree strongly with what the active members of this generational group pioneer. After reading this short piece on Neptune in Aries, go into a contemplation on other qualities of Neptune in this position. Then spend the rest of the day considering and reflecting on this Neptune sign position and what it would be like for every sun sign position to be teamed up with an Aries Neptune. As an example, would it be easy for a Cancer sun sign to have this Neptune position? What would that energy combination be like? What about a Virgo sun sign with an Aries Neptune? Go through all of the sun sign positions in combination with the Aries Neptune and reflect what this would be like. 
keep practicing the art of combining and interpreting these different energies. Now consult a good ephemeris, that's a book of planetary motions, to find the times when Neptune is in Aries, which is roughly once every 165 years. Because of Neptune's 165 year long orbit, no one alive today will have this Neptune placement. But look into history, approximately 1861 to 1875, for the time that Neptune was in Aries, and look to find these qualities in the people that were alive then. Astrology is very much an observing science and art form. Neptune in Taurus. Key, material possessions and money are the stuff of dreams. Symbol, an artist paints a beautiful picture. Neptune in Taurus is fixed earth. The Neptune in Taurus person becomes fixated, fixed, on dreams of wealth and romance, earth. This generation uh, is practical, even in their dreams, which usually consists of their possessions, money, or romance. They are kind and, t and terrific companions that are able to charm others with a magical earth, earthy charisma. This generation has a tendency to spend their time in artistic pursuits rather than delving into metaphysical or spiritual matters. They can design beautiful things because of their great aesthetics and may find themselves achieving more in the artistic creative world than they ever imagined. The house placement of Neptune and Taurus indicates whether the individual will be the active agent of the Neptune and Taurus energies for their generation or if they will be part of the majority of the people of this generation that will believe and support or strongly or disagree strongly with the, what the active members of this generational group pioneer. After reading this short piece on Neptune in Taurus, go into a contemplation on other qualities of Neptune in this position. Then spend the rest of the day considering and reflecting on this Neptune sign position and what it would be like for every sun sign position to be teamed up with a Taurus Neptune. As an example, would it be easy for a Leo sun sign to have this Neptune position? What would that energy combination be like? What about a Libra sun sign with a Taurus Neptune? Go through all of the sun sign positions in combination with the Taurus Neptune and reflect what, what this would be like. Keep practicing the art of combining and interpreting these different energies. Now consult a good ephemeris, that's a book of planetary motions, to find the times when Neptune is in Taurus, which is roughly once every 165 years. Because of Neptune's 165 year long orbit, no one alive today will have this Neptune placement, but look into history, approximately 1875 to 1889, for the time that Neptune was in Taurus, and looked to find these qualities in the people that were alive then. Astrology is very much an observing science and art form. Neptune in Gemini. Key, religious doctrines are intensively researched. Symbol, a minister gives an eloquent and intellectual sermon. Neptune in Gemini is mutable air, the Neptune and Gemini generation are intellectually, air, curious about religious doctrines, mutable. These people have a versatile and idealized view of the world. Because of this innate naivety, they can be easily fooled. The academic study of religious beliefs is an area that fits this generation very well. By nature, they are charming, easy to get along with, with group, and may achieve much in the fields of communicating religious ideas with logical reasoning. Artistically, this generation can excel at anything that can be completed quickly. They are superb in the writing field, where their quick minds can communicate the dreamy qualities of their imaginations. The house place of of Neptune and Gemini indicates whether the individual will be the active agent of the Neptune and Gen Gemini energies for their generation, or if they will be part of the majority of the people of this generation that will agree and support or reject what the active members of this generational group do. 
After reading this short piece on Neptune in Gemini, go into contemplation on other qualities of Neptune in this position. Then spend the rest of the day considering and reflecting on the Neptune sign position and what it would be like for every sun sign position to be teamed up with a ne Gemini Neptune. As an example, would it be easy for a Virgo sun sign to have this Neptune position? What would that energy combination be like? What about a Scorpio sun sign with a Gemini Neptune? Go through all of the sun sign positions in combination with the Gemini Neptune and reflect what this would be like. Keep practicing the art of combining and interpreting these different energies. Now consult a good ephemeris, that's a book of planetary motions, to find the times when Neptune is in Gemini, which is roughly once every 165 years. Because of Neptune's 165 year long orbit, no one alive today will have this Neptune placement. But look into history, approximately the years 1889 to 1902, for the time that Neptune was in Gemini, and look to find these qualities in the people that were alive then. Astrology is very much an observing science and art form.